Hello everyone, my name is Mengs, and today I'm going to be playing some Hearthstone. You guys request that I do a few videos of this uh, game on my channel, so I thought, hey, why not? I do play a lot of Hearthstone. Not any good at it, but I play a lot of Hearthstone, and I think it's a really enjoyable game, so... Today I thought I'd go into the arena, and I thought, hey, I could film this. So I'm going to be taking you through my arena journey. So first things first, we need to pick a class. We have the choice between a Hunter, a Mage, and a Warlock. Now, I don't really have a lot of experience with a Hunter, but I have played Mage quite a bit. Uh, my most favorite class at the moment is the Priest. I think the Priest is hilarious, and I am having a lot of fun with that class. But I think for the purposes of this run, we'll go with a Mage. I do like a mage. Mages are powerful in the arena. They have a lot of removal. Oh, and we start off the bat with a legendary. Okay, that's great. So we have a choice between Deathwing, Captain Greenskin, and Cairn Bloodhoof. Uh, Deathwing is... <laughs> wow, what can I say about this card? Uh, I've never used it. Uh, I don't really know if it's any good or not. It's certainly hilarious, I mean... It's good to play when you don't have any cards left, but in my opinion... Um, in the arena, I have a tendency to get rushed down, so I don't think this will see a lot of use. Captain Greenskin uh, has a pretty interesting battle cry. The thing is, mages don't have any weapons, so I think this is pretty useless for me. Cairn Bloodhoof, I think this was ranked... Um, I think it was uh, one of the best legendaries, rank-wise. I do read a little bit of... Um, uh, guides and such on the internet, and uh, Karen Bloodhoof has received a lot of praise simply because, in essentially, you're getting like an 8 10 for 6. You do get it spread out over two cards, and you don't get them both at the same time, but it's still a very valuable minion. At the same time, Deathwing would be hilarious. I think I'm gonna go for Karen. So, a Shenjin Shield Master, a Mad Bomber, and an Armani Berserker. The Shield Master is one of the best taunts in the game. Uh, at least that's my opinion of it. It has 3-5, so it can usually trade 2 for 1. There are almost no minions at that point that can deal with it very well. The Mad Bomber is hilarious, I love it. Uh, you can use it to enrage minions, ping off divine shields. Of course, it's a completely unreliable. It could just hit you 3 times, which is also the, you know, the charm of the card. And then you have the Amani Berserker, which is very good in a mage deck, because you could ping it with your Fire Blast to get a 5-2 minion. Especially before it attacks, that's really good. Uh, but I think we're gonna go safe, and we're gonna go with a Shield Master. You always want at least one Shield Master in your deck. Or Tasdingo, as people call it. Flame Strike, Jungle Panther, Silverback, Patriarch. Flame Strike is prime removal. At turn 7, you can basically clear almost any board, except if you are facing like really strong minions. Jungle Panther is alright. It is very squishy, but it usually gets to trade off a minion that's more, much more powerful than itself, since it deals 4 damage. Now, it's v vulnerable to AoE and such, but uh, I, I like this card a lot. The Silverbark Patriarch is... I don't like it all that much. I think it's a little bit too weak. I mean, it costs 3 mana, but it can't really do a whole lot. It is good if you're facing a rushdown deck, though, and it's good in a hunter deck since it's a beast. But I think we're gonna go with a flame strike. You need a flame strike in your deck as a mage. It's such an iconic spell. Sea Giant, Doomsayer, Big Game Hunter. Sea Giant is alright. Um, I like it even better on Paladins, who have the ability to summon minions with their power. And of course, if you, for example, play a hunter and you have like unleashed hounds or something, this could be hilariously awesome. Doomsayer is pretty awesome too. Uh, especially if you get a Frost Nova. You could basically combine the Frost Nova and Doomsayer to clear almost any board. Of course, it can't get killed by a Shadow or Pain or something, but it's still a pretty good card. And then you have Big Game Hunter, which I absolutely adore. Uh, you can use Big Game Hunter to remove really powerful creatures, legendaries and the like. And I've seen this card used so many times to great effects. So I think I'm actually gonna go with a Big Game Hunter. All right, Dread Corsair, Silverback Patriarch, and Ice Barrier. Dread Corsair is pretty useless to me, since I don't have any weapons. I don't like the Patriarch. Ice Barrier is, I think, the weakest secret um, the mage has. What I like about secrets, though, is the psychological aspect to them. When you play a secret, your opponents will do stupid things in order to try and figure out what kind of secret it was. For example, if your opponent thinks you just summoned a Vaporize, then he's going to be very, very careful to attack you, and he will probably try to run a low-cost minion into you first. 
So I do like secrets a lot. They make your opponents paranoid, you know, so it fucks up their play. So for that reason alone, since I don't really like the two other cards, I'm actually going to go with an Ice Barrier. It's good against Rushdown decks too. I mean, 8 armor, pretty good. Bluegill Warrior, Iron Beak Owl, Spiteful Smith. Uh, Bluegill Warrior is actually my most favorite Murloc card, even though I don't, you know, you can't get a Murloc deck in the arena. Not unless you're really, really lucky. Um, but this is good. I like Charge, although I wish it was a one-cost minion. Iron Beak Owl is um, okay. Silence is nice to have, you know. Uh, it dies very easily though, so it's a bad card for its stats, but the silence can be pretty good. And then you have a Spiteful Smith, which is useless since I don't have weapons. So I think I'm actually going to go with an Owl. I want the silence in my deck. My mirror Image, Mana Worm and Iron Big Owl. I wish I had gotten both the Mirror Image and the Mana Worm, because that's a really good combo. Mirror Image is a strong card. I mean, it's a spell, so it actually synergizes very well with the Mana Worm. And it's always good to have versus Rushdown deck. I love the combination between Mirror Image and uh, Flesh Eating Ghoul, because that pretty much guarantees you that the Flesh Eating Ghoul will receive two attack before it does anything. Mana Worm, however, is a very solid one-cost play. Uh, I, I really like it a lot. Um, sadly, it doesn't proc when the enemy casts a spell, but as a mage, I should get at least a couple of spells, so I'm gonna go with the Mana Worm. South Sheet, Deckhand, Dark Iron Dwarf, and Dalaran Mage. Well, pi any pirate card that doesn't synergize with weapons aren't really that valuable to me. Dark Iron Dwarf, I think, was ranked one of the best arena cards, uh, simply because it has so much value. And I think I might go for that. We also have a Dark and Dalaran Mage, however, which is usually a card I don't like all that much, but in a Mage deck it might actually work, considering I actually do like spell damage. So I think I'm gonna go for a Dalaran Mage. Magma Rager, Chilwin Yeti, Scarlet Crusader. The Magma Rager is terrible. Never pick this card. It dies too easily. If you have the possibility to give it charge, then it can be pretty good. But otherwise, no, never pick it. Chilwin Yeti is the best card in the game. Uh, this is a pretty common known fact. The, the Yeti is just amazing. And uh, if you're wondering why it's such so amazing, it's because it cannot get silenced. It has great stats, it trades almost always 2 for 1, and on turn 4 there's absolutely no other minion in the game that can trade with it uh, cost efficiently. So, Scarlet Crusader is also pretty good, I like that card a lot. It has 1 health, but it has that shield, so it doesn't, um, it doesn't get killed off right away. So I'm gonna go for the Shieldwin Yeti. It's, it's pretty standard, really. Kirin Tor Mage and an Arcane Golem and a Master Swordsmith. I love the Kirin Tor Mage, especially in a secret deck. You play that thing, you get a free Ice Barrier, for example, in my, in, in my example. But I might get more secrets, which is why I'm really tempted to take this one. I like the Arcane Golem. Uh, this has actually killed me so many times. Uh, it gets played and then charges my hero down. Uh, but it can be really scary to give your opponent a Mana Crystal. Really scary. Master Swordsmith is a pretty cool minion. I like it a lot. It can change the uh, dynamic of the board pretty quickly and fuck up your plans because it just gave that one minion one extra attack, which means you cannot trade effic efficiently anymore. So, hmm, it's a tr tough choice though. The Arcane Golem is pretty strong, but I think I'm gonna go for the Kirin Tor Mage and I'm gonna pray I get some more secrets. Bloodsail Raider, Shield Bearer, Frostwolf Grunt. The Bloodsail Raider is not good, because I don't have any weapons. The Shield Bearer is a card that I both love and hate at the same time. I hate it because it doesn't have any attack. I love it because it's so cheap and it has 4 health. And this is actually a very good card if you're getting rushed down, which happens to me a lot in the arena. I, I, I don't think I recall a single arena game where I haven't been pushed early on. And this can actually survive pretty, pretty well on its own, you know, and especially if you play a priest, which I do a lot, you can give it inner fire and you have a 4-4 four, four minion, which is pretty strong. The Frostball Grunt, I don't like it, I think it's one of the weakest cards, maybe only trumped by the Goldshire Footman. It just isn't that good, you know, a 2-2 with the taunts, nah, not really my thing. I think I'll go for the 0-4. Mirror Image, Frostbolt, Argent, Squire. I really want a Mirror Image, but at the same time, Frostbolt is amazing. It is simply amazing. Also considering I have, do I have one or two minions with spell damage? I have one. Argent Squire is alright, but I don't really need more 1-1 one, one minions. 
It's either a mirror image or a frost bolt. Hmm. I think it might be a frost bolt, to be quite honest. It, it, th this card is just too good. I mean, no, usually you use it to trade off a 3 health minion, but you can also use it uh, combined with your fire blast to take off a 4 health minion. It is just extremely good, and I have spell damage, so. Elven Archer, Mirror Image, Cobalt Geomancer. I actually like Elven Archer a lot. Uh, this card gets a lot of crap for being bad, but you can use that battle guy for so many things. You can use it to enrage your own minion, you can use it to ping off a divine shield, you can use it to take away that annoying minion with one health left so that you just didn't get to kill. I love this card, absolutely. But since I'm playing a mage, I kinda already have the opportunity to do one damage to any minion I like, so it gets less valuable in a mage deck. Mirror image, I really want this card, enough said. But then it presents me with a Cobalt Geomancer, which is even more spell damage, which I actually also kinda want. Ah, what to pick, what to pick? A Cobalt Geomancer or a Mirror Image? I think I, I need a Mirror Image in my deck. It's too good. Magma Ranger, terrible. Loot Hoarder, alright, it's a card draw. And Sorcerer's Apprentice, I love this guy. Uh, you can use, you can cast Sorcerer's Apprentice and then you can cast Mirror Image for free. So I'm definitely going with that. I hope I get an Arcane Intellect so I can get some card draw because I'm actually lacking that right now. Defender of Argus, Emperor Cobra, and Pine Size Summoner. This is a great card right here. Defender of Argus is amazing, but it requires you to have a solid board. I mean, you, you need to have at least two minions to play this well. Although, you can certainly play it with only one minion too, it just doesn't give you as much value. Emperor Cobra is good. I like this card. Uh, when you play it, your opponent becomes paranoid. And that's the best thing about it. You, you scare your opponents from playing minions, which is amazing, unless they have some way of dealing with the Cobra. Pine Sense Summoner is also a really good card. You get it out early, you can get a lot of minions on the field. If you play this on turn 2, you can play a Yeti on turn 3, which is very strong. And I have a Shield Master, and I, I, do, I feel like I have enough Taunt already, so I don't need the Argus, uh, Defender of Argus. The Emperor Cobra is alright, but I think I actually want a Pine Sense Summoner. Frost Nova, Silverhand Knight, Arcane Missiles. Frost Nova is good. It's even better if you have a Doomsayer, because then you can wipe the board. Uh, it's good for delaying rushdowns, especially, you know, you, you need that one extra turn before you get a flame strike. Frost Nova is great. I like the Silverhand Knight, I think it's one of the best 5 cost minions. You essentially get a 6-6 six, six for 5, which is really powerful. And you get it split out over 2 cards, which is even better. A little bit vulnerable to AoE though, but still. And then you have Arcane Missiles, which is a solid card. Uh, I like this one a lot. It's a little bit random. It's like the Mad Bomber, just better. <laughs> But I think I need more endgame. I don't know. I'm a mage though, and I have spell power minions. So it would be really tempting to get arcane missiles. But no, I think I'm gonna go with the Silver Hand Knights. Cult Master, Young Dragonhawk, and Torn Warrior. Cult Master is, in my opinion, one of the, the best cards in the game. You summon this behind a taunt, you're guaranteed a card draw, unless your opponent casts some sort of spell that kills it. I love this card so much. And I've seen it generate so many cards in matches. The Young Dragonhawk is, in my opinion, pretty bad. Uh, it's a one-cost minion, so you shouldn't expect too much from it, but it seldom gets to attack twice, because it dies before it can do anything. At most, it will deal two damage to the enemy hero, and that's it. The Torn Warrior is alright, but it's a little bit too squishy, and you, you rarely will see that in Rage, to be quite honest. So, I'm gonna go for the Cult Master. Yes, the Cult Master. Nightblade, Mirror Entity, Fen Creeper. I don't like the Nightblade all that much. Uh, I don't like its stats. It's a little bit too expensive for my tastes, but it has its uses. The Mirror Entity is another secret, and I have a Kirin Tormage, so I most definitely will go for this one. I like the Fen Creeper, uh, but I already have a lot of taunt in my deck, and I love secrets, so I'm gonna go for Mirror Entity. Ancient Brewmaster, Jungle Panther, No Mission Venture. I prefer the uh, Youthful Brewmaster, because I really like the Battle Cry, but the Ancient Brewmaster is a little bit too expensive for my tastes. But it has great stats, I mean, it has a lot of attack, so you can do a lot of funny things with this one. The Jungle Panther is really good, and the No Mission Venture is also pretty good. You know what? I'm lacking card draw. I don't have any card draw in my deck, and that could be pretty bad for me. So I should probably get a No Mission Venture. I hope I'm gonna get an Arcane Williams, though. Defender of Argus, Mana Wraith, Ravenholt Assassin. We talked about this one a little bit earlier. 
Uh, Mana Wraith is... This is a strange card. <laughs> I don't really understand if it's good or not. It sure as hell can fuck over your opponent. But it can fuck over you too. And then we have the Raven Old Assassin, which is just great. I love this card. It is so threatening when you play it. It's really difficult to get rid of, because it has 5 health despite being a stealth target. So even if your opponent has some sort of AoE, it can't really kill it. So I'm going to go with the Raven Old Assassin. It's almost guaranteed 7 damage. Bluegill Warrior, Ice Barrier, Mirror Entity. Oh my god, are we getting another secret? Yes, we are. I am liking this already. We have an Ice Barrier already, so we're gonna go with another Mirror Entity. Wisp, Booty Bay, Bodyguard, and Frostwolf Warlord. This is a terrible card. Never pick it. Under any circumstance do you ever want to Wisp. It just doesn't do enough work for, for it to warrant being a card. The Booty Bay Bodyguard is a little bit too squishy, in my opinion. And I have a lot of taunts, so I don't think it's going to be very useful for me. The Frostlop Warlord is good. I really like this card. I mean, yes, the 4 4 for 5 is not good, but you will almost always have a 5 fire or a 6 6 minion with this one. So I'm gonna go for that. Arcane Explosion, Murloc Raider, Acolyte of Pain. Arcane Explosion is really good, considering I have spell damage. Murloc Raider is alright, it's another one cost minion. And then we have Acolyte of Pain, which, oh, that's card draw. I actually really want that. You can cast Acolyte of Pain and you could ping it with your own Fire Blast to get a card. I think that's almost too good not to get. Yeah, we're gonna go with an Acolyte of Pain. Reckless Rocketeer, Guru Bashi Berserker, and Frost Nova. Reckless Rocketeer is cool. It's like a, hey, here's 5 damage and then it dies. And it's really powerful. I, I like it a lot, but then again, we also have Gurubashi Berserker, which is amazing on a mage, because you could ping it, and then you get a, what is it, 5-6? That's, that's pretty cool. I think I might go for that. Then we have Frost Nova, which I would actually like to have one Frost Nova in my deck, but... Nope, I want the Gurubashi Berserker. Flesh-Eating Ghoul, Sorcerer's Apprentice, and Silver Moon Guardian. Flesh-Eating Ghoul is great, and I have a Mirror Image, which is an amazing combo. I already have a Sorcerer's Apprentice, and the Silvermoon Guardian is okay, but it doesn't have Taunt, so the Divine Shield is kind of wasted in my opinion. So I think I'm going to go for the Flesh Eating Ghoul. Alright, I have five more cards. Murloc Raider, Dark Scale Healer, and Arcane Intellect. Dark Scale Healer is alright, but I really need card draw, and I like spells, so I have a Mana Worm in my pocket, I almost said. <laughs> Let a mana in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? No, I want Arcane Inflect. Murloc Tidehunter, Core Hound, Wolf Rider. Murloc Tidehunter is alright. Uh, it's one of the better Murloc cards. You do get a lot of value out of this minion. You ba essentially get a 3 2 for 2. Um, Core Hound is bad. It, it, it gets killed way too easily. Unless you can give a charge somehow, or stealth it, or whatnot. It just isn't a very good minion. Yes, it does a sick load amount of damage, but it just. Dies. That's the thing. A 7 cost minion that just dies. And yes, I know that the Ravenholt Assassin also has 5 health, but it has stealth, which makes it good. Wolf Rider is a good card, though. Uh, basically, play that, you get a charge, and you can take off a minion. And then, the, and then it usually dies. So, looking at my mana curve, I have a shit ton of 3 cost cards, and I don't have a lot of endgame. So I think... I think I'm just gonna go for the Murloc Tidehunter, actually. Cultmaster, Silverbark Patriarch, and Cone of Cold. We have a Cultmaster already. I wouldn't mind another one, but we have one already. The Silverbark Patriarch is not a good card, in my opinion. It's good in Hunter decks, because it's a beast, but aside from that, it doesn't really have a lot of value. It doesn't do enough. I mean, if you think about it, the Shield Bearer is the same with one less attack for two less mana. So... Yeah, I don't really like it all that much. You get one attack for, like, two mana. Cone of Cold, though, is a really good spell. Damage and freeze. And I don't have a Frost Nova, so I don't have any way of freezing my opponent. So I think I might go for a Cone of Cold. Bluegill Warrior, Murloc Tidehunter, and Ice Barrier. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go for another secret, aren't we? Fuck yeah. I mean, I don't really want any more Murlocs. I have a lot of early game already, so yeah, we're gonna go for a second Ice Barrier. This is insane. Assure Drake, Vapor Ice, and Mana Addict. All of these cards are good for me. Assure Drake is one of the best mage minions you can get. I mean, spell damage and card draw? 
for 5 mana and it has solid stats, this is an extremely powerful minion. Vaporize is a very powerful secret, but I have 4 secrets already, I think I need to ramp down a little bit. I mean, and... <laughs> mana Addict is pretty good as well, in a mage deck. But I think it's most definitely gonna have to be an Assured Drake. Alright! Let's jump into the first match. Mm. I need a drink. <laughs> okay. So... Let us see... Oh, I wanted to find Hogger. Why does it never allow you to fight against anyone else but a worthy opponent? Alright, so we're facing a warrior here. I don't think I drafted an Acidic Swamp Poos, so that's a big shame. Alright, uh, let's see. We get a bunch of 3 cost cards. I wanna hold on to the Kirin Tor Mage. The Arcane Intellect is alright. The Big Game Hunter I don't really need that early on. And the Ice Barrier I suppose I don't need either. Actually, I could get the Ice Barrier. I could get it for free on turn 3 if I want to. I could actually get it for free on turn 2 if I wanted to. It's too bad I didn't get a Secret Keeper. That would have been awesome. A Secret Keeper, that, I mean, I like it. Uh, not a Secret Keeper. Yes, a Secret Keeper, but oh, there's another card also. The Archivists. The Eternal Archivist, which gets 2-2 two -two every time a Secret is played. Or every time a Secret is active, I should say. Which is an extremely good card. I can taste okay, Man Addict. Mana. That's fine. That's weird. <laughs> is it whenever you cast a spell? Yeah, so if I cast a spell, that won't buff it up. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, I think I'm actually gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for a Kirin Tor Mage. We have many secrets. And that gives me a free Ace Barrier. I mean, it's too good not to do. And it's also gonna make him paranoid. Like, is it a Mirror Entity? Is it a Vaporize? What is it? He's probably going to run his uh, Mana Addict into my hero to find out. At which point he will understand. Harvest Golem, that's another card I didn't get, which is amazing. I love that card. Oops. Let's see, what is he gonna do? You see, he's paranoid. He doesn't know what kind of secret it is. But again, if it is a Vaporize, I mean, I would I would run my secret. He is actually not doing anything. You see? <laughs> Secrets make people do stupid things. Which is why I love it. Alright. I am tempted to go Acolyte of Pain. He could use both of his minions to take it off, but that's going to give me a card. Let the pain speak to me. So, I am going to... Hmm... I could take away his mana addict. Or I could just go for him. I want to take down his mana addict. Of course, he could take me down with his harvest golem, but... That basically means that I have gotten a 2 for 1 card advantage, which I think is pretty good. Yeah, he's gonna do that. But I can take down his golem with my acolyte of pain. Unless he plays a taunt. Which is gonna give me a card draw and leave the Acolyte of Pain standing. And if I want to, I can ping the Acolyte of Pain to get another card. If there's nothing more interesting to do on the battlefield. For the war chief. Ah, he's gonna kill me with his uh, Corcron. That's fine. I could always ping off the Harvest Golem next turn. Oh, okay. He's going to save me some damage. And he has revealed my secret. Alright, I think I'm going to... Uh, I think I'm going to just ping the Harvest Golem. And then... I'm almost considering playing a Shield Bearer. I think I might do that. You yeah. Shall not so he's going to spend another turn to take that down. At which point I may get a card that can actually deal with that. The Corcoran Elite is a really powerful card, in my opinion. Oh, uh, Iron for a Grizzly. That's another taunt I don't quite like. Just don't think it's that good. There goes my Shield Bearer, speaking of a card that isn't that good. Okay, I could Cone of Cold, but I don't really want to. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... Hmm... I could ping my own Acolytes. I think I might do that. That gives me an Ice Barrier, which is not that great. I think I'm just going to go Arcane Intellect. I could also run my Acolyte into his Grizzly, but nah. 
I'm gonna let him do that myself. So, I got a shield, shield Master for next turn, and the Shield Master trades away the Cochran, which is amazing. And it has enough health to withstand both of them before it dies. So, again, you see how powerful this taunt is. Could essentially trade both of those minions away for one 4 cost minion, which is great. So, he might go for my face now. I think he will definitely go for my face now. Yeah, he can do a lot of damage to me. Now he's actually... yeah. Thanks for the card. Oops. Alright. So that's... yeah. I've taken four damage in total right now. Okay, so... What do I want to do? I could use the Owl to silence the Argent Commander. That actually would be a good thing. That would remove the Divine Shield. So I could also Cone of Cold. And ping off the Grizzly. I think that's a better idea, actually. Yeah. There we go. Pinged off the Divine Shield, and I can just take out the Grizzly like that. Would be even better if I had a Spell Power minion. But I don't have a Spell Power minion. If I had, like, a Kobold Geomancer, that would be bad. That would be really good. Okay, he is armoring up. He has 7 armor right now. Oh, he actually drafted a Wisp? Is he stupid? Who the fuck drafts a Wisp? Oh, he has 9 armor right now. Okay, it's most definitely going to be Mr. Tasdingo next turn. The question is, what do I do with my remaining army? Uh, I think remaining mana, I mean, not army. Uh, well, it has to be a taunt. I need to stay alive somehow. Then I could go for the... Wait, can the big, ha big game hunter actually do something? No, it can't. Uh, we could go Ice Barrier or Mirror Entity. I think actually Mirror Entity. Again, let's make him a little paranoid. So what he could do now is he could trade his uh, Fiery War Axe. He'd take 3 damage, but it's not really a big issue since he has so, many, so much armor. Um, that Wisp is actually a little bit annoying. Because it means he can actually... Yeah, he's gonna do that. So is he gonna sacrifice his Argent Commander or his Colcroft? Doesn't really matter anyway. So I'm taking a lot of damage now, which is the case in the arena, I feel. But if he plays a really powerful minion now, I'm gonna get a copy of that. So there goes his axe. I have another barrier, which will give me eight more health. Okay, that's not the best thing I could have gotten. I'm not gonna get the battle cry, so. But hey, it's a minion. I still haven't drafted my Flame Strike, which is annoying. He has 11 armor right now. <laughs> oh god. But he has two cards. I have a solid card advantage, which is good. Okay, so what should I do? I feel like I kind of have to go Ice Barrier. Because I am going to take a beating next turn. So, let's go Ice Barrier. Then we could perhaps... Okay, first things first, I need to get rid of this. I also want to take away the Murloc. That leaves me with 3 mana, which I can use on a Dalaran Mage. So... I, ha I effectively have 8 more health right now, which actually is really good. And that's very good, because holy crap. He has a lot of aggro cards. So where is that damn uh, flame strike when I need it the most? Ah, oh, and he's up to 13 armor. Okay. There's my silver hand knights. Um, is there anything I can do to actually to actually do damage to him? I can't. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for the yeti. The Silver Hand Knight. Attend me. Job done. So if Ready, he wants sir. to go for my face right now, I'm going to clear his board next turn. And my Flame Strike should pop out any moment now. So if he summons even more minions, I should be able to clear the board. And I can still win this. I mean, yes, I am at a major health disadvantage, and he has like over 40 health. But you'd be amazed about how quickly armor disappears when. Uh... Okay, he's actually trading. 
Alright, well, I have a I have a board advantage right now, and I have a card advantage. But that is not really a threatening card right now. He can't really do much, and I can silence it, so... And I'm gonna do that next turn. Alright, let's silence it. So, we'll do this. And we could play... I actually know exactly what I could play. Murloc Tide Hunter, followed up by a Frost Dwarf Warlord. That's gonna give me a 8-8. Uh, if you insist. Shut up. Alright, so we have a pretty powerful board right now, and warriors aren't actually known for their big board players, unless he has a brawl. And if he plays a brawl, I'm going to kill myself. Okay. Cult Master. Okay. Okay, that needs to go. Immediately. But I think I will be able to take it. I have... yeah, I have my warlord, so I can just kill that. What? Did he not get armor from that, or did I miss that? Hmm, that's weird. Alright, let's clear out the Doomsayer. Uh, we could play a Cairn Blood Hoof, and a Pine Size Summoner. And then we could actually do this. Clear the Murloc. And let's just go for his face. So you see how quickly that armor is going to melt away. Because I have so much damage right now, I'll just chew through that armor and start killing him. So he spent too many cards trying to burn me down, and he didn't manage to do it. So his uh, his rush down is essentially halted. Charge forward! Of course, he might still win, you know. Bend to my command. All right, what is he gonna do with that? Is he seriously going to try to trade away stuff? In his position, I think I would just try to rush me down. But not attacking? That doesn't seem very healthy. Alright, let's get a Gnomish Inventor out here. I think I'm actually... I can't summon any more minions right now. So yeah, I... I think I might just try to... Let's see, I want to keep my Pine Size Summoner. I could... Let's see... I could use my Cairn to take down... The Warsaw Commander. The Spiteful Smith has a lot of health. So I can take that down with my uh, with my commander. Uh, if you insist. I, I didn't lose any minions though, so. Okay, so I finally removed his armor. Coming through. The problem is now I actually have way too many minions on the board. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool. That removed someone. He could actually trade away my my Silverhand Knight or my Pine Sign Summoner now with his uh, Mogishan Warden. You love my new recipe. Well, I suppose that's smart. But he is essentially boned right now. I mean, I have too much board control, and it's too late to try and go for me right now. He just won't work. So let's get out the drake. You could just frost bolt his uh, crazed alchemist. Play the cult master. And then we'll just start rushing him down. There we go. 16 health left. And he has no cards. What can you do when you have no cards? Doesn't matter. I think I have lethal on him right now. Probably not lethal, but close to it. Hmm, a mana worm. Mana worm, flesh sheet. Oh, I can't play any more minions. Might as well just flame strike them. Boom! Why can't I do anything? There we go. It froze for a moment there. For honor. And that's lethal. GG. Well played. Actually, he didn't really play all that well. He was kind of terrible.
Alright, so our first arena victory. Pretty nice. So I think uh, I'll end this video right here. It was uh, it was a pretty long one since it uh, since it was a draft and all. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will be making more if you want me to. So just let me know in the comments section if you want more Hearthstone and I'll I'll give you more Hearthstone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am pretty tired right now. I think I'm gonna go to bed. My name is Mengs and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.